Teenagers, am I right? Oh my gosh, teenagers. Okay, what do we even do about that? <laughs> I want to share with you some really interesting perspectives along with using your internal guidance system that can support you in being able to feel into when to give your kids some freedom and trust them and when it's time to kind of pull them and rein them back in, when it's time to push your affection and love on them a little more than they are you know, saying they want, and when it's time to pull back and let them kind of feel their independence a bit. This is an important conversation, and I think you're going to get some tips and tricks that you'll enjoy, uh, and it'll help you have a closer, more rich, beautiful relationship with your teen. This is Zen in a Moment. It's a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, amazing person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to in the flow. Flow meaning feeling light, open, and wise. And I'm your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, stress as guidance expert. All right. So, you know, I want to start off by saying I don't have a teen. All right. So you are more than welcome to just take all of my inspirational advice and throw it out the window. However, I have a lot of students who have teens and have been using their internal guidance system and have been working with me and I've been coaching them and supporting them in using this. Now, if you don't know what your internal guidance system is, go to zeninamoment.com and check out the video there because I walk you through an exercise where you can feel your internal guidance system for yourself. You physically feel it in the center of your body and that way you'll know what I mean by opening, closing, and neutral. So teens, number one, I highly recommend that if you've been doing this work with your own internal guidance system, share their internal guidance system with them. You know, take them and have them see the video. It's really important for them to be able to start learning to feel their way and erase their own egoic mind. I mean, what you're really doing is, is your mind is producing thoughts. Your internal guidance system gives you sensations as to whether your mind is basically creating a delusion or a lie or whether it's telling you the truth and what thoughts that you need to be focused on that are going to bring you the most happiness and success. Your teen needs to know that, okay? They need to be able to, to, to feel what's authentically for them. But the other thing that I want to share is that this is really tough. You know, you, you've created this incredible being. You've done everything you can to give them the tools and the foundation that they need to live an extraordinary life. And then, you know, they start going through their hormones and they have all this pressure, especially nowadays with all the digital media and the friends. And there's so much more that's coming at kids today than ever before. And there's, there's, there, there's just this place where we don't, you might not know exactly there's just this way in which you might not know exactly how to guide them. And then there's a whole other piece, which is you have your own limitations in your own mind, your own beliefs about who they should be, how they should behave, what's good for them, what's bad for them. And that's coming from your own childhood, your own makeup, right? The same things that limit you also limit your capacity to parent well. And so sometimes you're pushing your stuff on them and they push back and there's this awful feeling. So in using your internal guidance system, it will help you weed through all that garbage. It'll help you weed through that. So a lot of times, if you think about it, when you're having a reaction to your child, it's coming from being closed. You feel a tightness in your chest. Maybe there's a lump in your throat, a sick feeling in your stomach. Maybe you're feeling frustration and irritation. Remember, closing in your internal guidance system, which means what you're thinking is not true or not going to happen. Closing is when you feel stress. And I define stress as worry, fear, overwhelm, frustration, irritation, okay? Those are just some of the things that you could be feeling with your teen. And if you're feeling those things, that means what you're thinking about your teen or what's going to happen to them is not true or not going to happen. Your mind is weaving a story based on your belief systems and it's false. And if you come at your kid with that closing experience, they're going to react and come back at you with closing. Closing begets closing, which means, what do I mean by that, right? They're going to have their own closing thoughts meaning what they're thinking about you is not true. What they're thinking about you is not going to happen. They're gonna, and the two of you are going to be locked in this delusional game where nothing happens that's good. Opening begets opening. 
So if you are able to, you know, I've got all these podcasts that I'm creating that allow you to see the closing and start moving through it and shifting irritation, shifting frustration, shifting your fear, anxiety, your overwhelm, right? Shifting these things and learning how your mind works and learning how your divine energy is coming through to help you, you know, weed through the garbage and come right into what's clear and focused. And when you have that opening, you feel authentic. So what it takes is, is as you're looking at what your teen's wearing, what they're doing, as you're thinking about sexting, as you're thinking about who they're dating, whether they're older, what the pressure there is that they're under, some of it's true and opening and some of it's closing. And what it takes is do the practices to find the opening thought, right? Do the practices to, to figure out like, okay, that's not true. It's not going to happen. What I'm thinking about her is not going to happen. So what is true? She's got this. Ooh, her boyfriend isn't pressuring her. Oh, that opens me even more. Okay. So can I have a conversation with her about sex? Closed. Mm. All right, I need to let that go and trust her, open. Or I can have a conversation with her about sex, open. All right. And then it's like, is this the time to do it? Closed. And then you just kind of check in and there'll be some time after dinner when you're dishing out some ice cream that the two of you can sit down and have a conversation. It'll open you. And in you being that in that soft, open space where you're feeling light, open, and wise, and you've pre-planned it, and you, opening begets opening. Trust begets trust. The other thing to know is, is that even though our teens push us away, you know, I've, I, I used to work with teens and, you know, they push you away, that's often not true. And you can check in, like, you know, if you notice when they push you away, the response you have is closing. The hurt, the feeling shut down, the feeling like you disconnected, you're closed. It means it's not true. Your kid's actually pushing you away and, and is really, really, really wanting you to come back at them with, no, I love you and you're stuck with me. No, I'm not going anywhere. They need to hear that. They need to feel that. And I know it's hard. I mean, I, I have a three-year-old and that kid can push my buttons and get my little hurt child going to where I'm feeling rejected. It's crazy. He's three and I can feel this rejected place where I want to drop back into my little kid and, and, and be silly in response to his behavior sometimes. And I can't even imagine what it would be like for a teen as a parent. But I, what I want to say is, is you can use this to know when you need to hang on that buck and bronco that's trying to throw you off or when you're like, all right, it may, you know, it may open you that you need to leave them alone. They're saying, leave me alone right now. And you're like, they, do they, you know, you're holding the thought, I should leave her alone. Ooh, that opens me. Okay. He needs some space. I'm going to give him some space. Ooh, I'm open. That means it's okay. You're opening. This is one of the most important things to know. When you open, it's good for everyone around you. Promise. I've been doing this forever. I've not had it be that way. It's good for everyone around you. And it's the path of least resistance that will create the most harmony that opening, when you follow it, will create harmony in your life between you and your kid. So I know this is a quick hit, and I'm going to do more on this topic to support you and being able to kind of noodle through your own brain and get into connection and depth with your kid uh, on all ages and all levels, from this to all the way to 50, 60 year old kids. Fine, you know this will all work as you're working through relationship between the parent and the and the child, that energy of caring for and letting go at the same time, the t trusting and interfering, all of that that comes into play. This IGS piece is brilliant at supporting you and doing it well. Okay, this is zeninamoment.com. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think of this particular topic. Uh, if you just want to call me bullshit because I don't have a team, that's fine. But try it out. Try it out. Try it out. Also, tell me what you want to know. Like, I would love to hear in the comments if I'm missing something or you want me to go deeper. I am so happy to do part two, part three on these things or hit a new topic in this area. If you're having a particular challenge, put it in the comments. I want to see it. I want to be a part of your life and support you in this way. All right. And share, share, share. Please get it out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I've got a SoundCloud. Please join me on SoundCloud. That's wonderful. I'd love to have you there. Just share, share, share. This information is so powerful. It creates such happiness in people's lives and share it with your team. All right. In the meantime, just know, man, I'm sending you love and blessings. <laughs>